Hello and welcome to this video tutorial by AeroCore. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to install and remove any of the passenger seats in the Eclipse 500 and 550 aircraft. I think the best way to learn how to do this is actually look at the components on the seat. So to do that, we've removed one seat that I've got behind me. We're going to show you those components now. So come on, let's take a look. All right, now here I've got a passenger seat that's already been removed from the aircraft. And each seat has four attachment points, one at each corner. And at each one of those attachment points, it has this foot assembly that we've removed from the aircraft. Now when you look at this foot assembly up close, you'll note that it has these two small pads that are offset slightly. And those are designed to be inserted into the seat track, which is made up of an alternating series of a similar circle pattern. So in essence, what we're trying to do is line up all four corners of the seat such that each one of these foot assemblies can be lifted through that seat track. Now the other thing we have is a locking mechanism. Now you see this locking mechanism is essentially a third one of these small pads inserted into the center of this foot assembly that can slide up and down such that when it is aligned with one of the circles in the seat track, it can be slid down into position and now that small foot assembly is locked in place. Now with that in mind, let's actually take a look at one of these foot assemblies installed in the seat and see how you prep that for removal. Okay, so now we're looking at the attachment point on the bottom of the seat. This is the bottom, the top of the seat is in this direction. And you'll note we have four different positions in that same circle shape. And the important thing to understand here is that only two of these alternating circles will be lined up with the holes in the seat track at any given time. So you can see this middle position is used to actually lock the seat in place. And then this rearward position is attached to the handle that can be actuated by a passenger to prevent the seat or allow the seat to slide forward and backward. So if I actuate that handle on the passenger seat, you'll see that lift out of place. And this is the actual locking mechanism that we want to move to the correct position. So what we will do is move the seat until the seat locks itself in place and that will ensure that both this position and this position are aligned with the holes in the seat track. Then we'll use this steel cable here with either the seat removal tool or a pair of needle nose pliers and lift that out of position. So now this middle part is held back and we can slide the seat forward one position and remove the seat out of the seat track. All right, so now that we've seen how the seat works, let's actually see the process of removing it from the airplane. So here's the seat installed in the airplane. You'll note that in the front corner, we have this actuation handle. When you lift that handle, that will release the seat and allow it to slide forward and backward. So the first step in this process, we wanna make sure that that one mechanism that we're trying to remove from the seat track is actually lined up in the correct position. The best way to do that is to release this actuation handle and slide the seat until you hear it click into position. So now we've got that click, we know that both this locking mechanism and the other one being that center actuation mechanism are both lined up such that they can be lifted out of position. Next step, at each one of these four corners, we want to lift that center mechanism out of position so that the seat will be ready to be lifted free. Now one thing that's important to note, you'll see there's actually two of these little balls attached to that steel cable. And what you want to do is lift that steel cable such that this second ball can be slidden back into position on this little shelf. That's what will maintain this center mechanism in the raised position. There's a little spring in here that will lower that center mechanism down into place. So you can't just lift this and let it go. You have to lift this steel cable and then push that ball onto the rear shelf. Okay, so now we have all four corners of the seat prepared for removal. Last step, we actuate this release handle one more time and slide the seat forward ever so slightly so that we get all of the feet to line up with those holes in the seat tracks. You can see once they're lined up properly, the seat will lift free, it can be taken out of the airplane. Now, of course, installing the seat, it's a little surprise, is essentially the reverse process. All we need to do is line up all four corners with those holes in the seat rails 
slide the seat ever so slightly until you hear that click one more time, and that's that locking mism sliding into place. There you go, you hear that lock. Now, in each one of the corners, you can simply reach down, lift that second retainer ball of the steel cable off of its support, and that will allow it to spring down in position. Seat's locked in place. Thanks for watching. If you'd like more information about the Eclipse or other light turbine aircraft, give us a call or a click today. At AeroCore, we are the jet solution.